Hello, I'm Ant. I'm Hannah. And this is Art in the Corridor. <laughs> <laughs> I gather up your things I love best And put them close to my chest I'm your lighthouse man There'll be no shipwrecks on this land I'll cast the nets and bathe the line But when there's trouble you'll pay no mind I'm your fisherman Yes, you need love and I know when If you're new here, I'm Hannah, my husband's aunt, he's over there with our 19 month old pup Mabel. We live on a 50 foot narrowboat and have done for the last 8 years. We started on the Great River Ruse and then we made our way onto the canal after 4 years. We've been making art for the last 2 years and we decided to vlog it all. So here goes, welcome. It has been a beautiful week. The sun is shining. Finally, it is warm. Look at this. Isn't everything better when the sun's out? So basically, this week we've started our preparations for the Braunston Historic Rally, which is at the end of June. Um, and we'll give you a few bits of information about that at the end of the video. Um, but it's a huge um, festival and they have bring out all the old boats and there's an art tent there so we're going to be in the art tent selling Ant's lino cut work. It's very exciting but we realised it's not that far off and we've got a lot to do. So he's been making a big print this week. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, as Hannah said, we are getting ready for the historic boat rally in Braunston, which is the end of June. Um, I bought this paper a while back, this Hosho paper, and it's Japanese handmade printmaking paper, and it's quite fancy, <laughs> and it's very big. So this week we're going to be trying to make a large lino print, and this is gonna be something that's gonna be available at the boat rally, and I will put a few on my website. I just wanted to make it a little more high end with a better paper, a larger picture. And this is the sketch we're going to be working on. So there's the old style boat there. And it's a bit of a mishmash of some previous ideas. And yeah, um, fingers crossed we can do this and we'll see what we've got at the end of the video. <laughs> ready to go on to the lino. That's the transferring done, hopefully. Have a look where I've been using the uh, magic spoon. <laughs> you can now see the image on the lino. Um, and the next step is to ink this in so that we don't lose the picture and we wash the piece of lino between layers. Yeah, onwards and upwards. Thank you. 
lot of detail going on there. Um, I'm slightly nervous about this print because it's bigger than my usual. And yeah, there's a lot going on. But I'm really pleased with how it looks on the lino. The next step is to get cutting. First layer cut. I'll get some ink on this now. Uh. Okay. <laughs> right, give me one second. <laughs> right. So we finished our registration board for this big print. And like I showed in one of the previous videos, it's just a normal bit of card with the pegs and this fits in perfectly. So what we'll be doing is rolling, obviously this, and our nice fancy paper will go over the holes and pshht, mm. that's there. Okay, so that's the plan. <laughs> so this is um, our first color. It's this sort of yellow ochre and white mixed together. Nice. And should we roll some on? Yeah, why not? I'm not gonna roll that directly in there. looks so weird on the first layer doesn't it yeah it's always the hardest to print as well the first layer why is that just because you want to get a real nice even coverage so that the others have got something to sort of sit on yeah and sort of bond to almost i feel like when you're just painting walls and stuff you always give it a little sand and a something to... yeah it's almost like an undercoat but we will um, cut some areas to let some of this through so is that going to add light this will hopefully add some light yeah it's going to use a lot of ink as well. I like that lady's hair. It's fancy, isn't it? Yeah, she's got like a French bob. <laughs> I like it. Quite busty. Quite busty lady. <laughs> uh, oh, I can feel a time lapse coming on. <laughs> oh, blimey. This is, must be compelling viewing. <laughs> It is nerve wracking. Because it's new paper. Yeah, it feels completely different. It's a bit like rubbing a tree, isn't it? You know when you used to do tree rubbing when you were little? Right? <laughs> right, we've done that for a moment. Let's do a quick check so I don't overprint it and end up filling all the, the lines I've cut. So you have no idea how this I is going to. Oh, it's going on. Is it? Would you say that's going on better than your usual paper? I or? would actually, yeah. Would you? I would, yeah. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> is that on better? Yeah, it's a little bit missing there. <gasps> do you even need to, like... Touch it up? Touch it up? I don't know if I do. Oh my goodness, this could be the answer. You could have <laughs> saved about 10 hours. My problem is now, where do I store these? I haven't got a drying rack. We'll just put them on the curtains. Yeah. Like we usually do. Yeah, but 20 of these... Yeah, we'll just It'll get cold in here. We'll live in the dark. We already do. <laughs> just use two pegs, surely. I ain't got 40 pegs. <laughs> Thank you. 
first little road block on this one, <laughs> particular print. Um, so here's all my trees. And I added this bit of drawing of, that was going to be trees, just to add a bit of um, depth, like they're in the distance. But this is going to be like a teal colour. And I wanted these guys to pop. So if I add like a tree colour behind them, then are they going to pop on top of it? This is the first layer cut. And as you can see, it hasn't actually come through on there because there's no, no cut in there yet. So I've got no idea what to do with that. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what to do with these bits of trees. I want the cut background to sit behind these two. So I don't want this colour uh, drowning them out. Do you even need the, that? Possibly not. Because you want a bit more sky so that stuff can pop out from it. Okay, the boss has but spoken. Don't even bother with that bit. I don't think you need that. <laughs> okay, we'll leave that. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the colour I've made for the um, second layer of the print. And it's almost like a bit of a signature colour now because it pops up a lot in my <laughs> pictures. But um, this was made primarily with white. And then you just put a little dob of black in it to make a grey and a little bit of blue. When it's all mixed up, it makes this nice tearly colour. This is Extender and it's um, it's like the base for these inks without a pigment in. So it's almost just a clear, clear ink. And if you add that to your ink, it just obviously extends it. You get much more out of it but you can also use this for um transparent layers which is another ball game altogether <laughs> so we'll see how we get on with this okay so this is layer one this will be layer two We've got the ink on and we fancy new paper. Are you confident? I am actually, it's going really well now. I shouldn't have said that to be honest, but no, it's not, it's not good, is it? I've noticed with this paper because it's textured. If I just rub straight on the top, all it the, rubs it. the fibers come off. So I'm worried that I'm going to rub my way through it. So I've been putting a bit of paper on top. Good plan, Stan. <laughs> So what are you up to now, Hannah? Um, just making a card for the Braunston rally because we had cards, but we didn't have. They've got they didn't have your website and stuff on because that's quite new. Your website, isn't it? It is, yeah. And I think the old cards didn't we have Etsy on there? Yeah, we did. Oh, that looks good. All right. Brilliant. Thank you. A little note on the back. I wanted to put a kiss on the end, but <laughs> you don't agree. Do you? Well, if you want to put it on there, I don't it always mind. feels like if you write stuff. Yeah. And it hasn't got kiss on the end. It feels like you've just been really abrupt. Like, go and follow this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the colour for layer three. Um, I must admit, it looks a bit mad at the moment. <laughs> um, but it'll all come together. Sometimes you just have to cross your fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> I have no face. A few hours later. <laughs> Some complaints, some confusion. <laughs> well, I should do a bit more planning, really. Well, you do though, don't you? But it, it changes every time, like you can't. So a bit weird at the moment. What layer is it? Number three. Ooh, long way to go. I gather up your things I love best And put them close to my chest I'm your lighthouse man There'll be no shipwrecks on this land I'll cast the nets and bathe the line But when there's trouble you'll pay no mind I'm your fisherman Yes, you need love and I know when Right, this is it. 
last layer, make or break. <laughs> so I finally got the last layer cut. Um, this is a bit make or break really because I don't really know how it's going to look. I'm going to use a black on top. I was going to use navy blue, but the hull of these boats are always black and it looks a bit weird in blue. And I've been trying to get away from using black as the last colour, but I think we're just going to go for it and see, what, see how it looks. I keep it sweet when things turn sound. Be your right hand man. Then with my left, do what I. 